Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss another example for one-to-one -one function. So for this case, it is a quadratic situation, which is x squared plus 2x minus 1. So now I'm going to use the algebraic method to determine whether the function is one-to-one -one or not. So for this case, we are going to use a standard form. So now the first step is to completing the square, so that the situation becomes standard form. So fx is equal to x square plus 2x plus bracket square minus bracket square minus 1. By referring to 2x, so we are going to substitute the value 2 over 2. Another one, 2 over 2 as well. Then we are going to simplify the situation. So we will have fx is equals to x plus 1 bracket square minus 1 minus 1. So finally, fx is equals to x plus 1 bracket square minus 2, which is a standard form. So now I'm going to determine whether the function is 1 to 1 or not. So substitute f x sub 1 is equal to f x sub 2. So we will have x sub 1 plus 1 bracket square minus 2 for the left hand side equals to x sub 2 plus 1 square minus 2 for the right hand side. Next I'm going to simplify the situation. So x sub 1 plus 1 bracket square equals to x sub 2 plus 1 bracket square. Again, I'm going to square root both sides. So we will have x sub 1 plus 1 equals to plus minus square root of x sub 2 plus 1 bracket square. Finally, x sub 1 is equals to plus minus square root of x sub 2 plus 1 bracket square minus 1. So for this case, x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. So as a conclusion, fx, which is equal to x square plus 2x minus 1, is not a 1 to 1 function. Reason? Because x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. And this also tells us that f inverse for this case does not exist. So now I'm going to use the graphical method to determine whether the function is one to one or not. So now first we have to refer to the function. So we notice that the a or the coefficient for x squared is equal to 1, which is a greater than 0. So the shape will be a u shape. Second, we are going to determine the interception point. So for the x axis, when y is equal to 0. So now what we have to do is x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. With the help from the calculator, so we will have x minus bracket minus 1 plus square root of 2. Multiply with x minus bracket negative 1 minus square root of 2 equals to 0. So from here, our x will be equals to negative 1 plus square root of 2. Another x will be equals to negative 1 minus square root of 2. So finally, we have the coordinate negative 1 plus square root of 2, 0. Another one will be negative 1, negative square root of 2, 0. Next, we are going to find the y interception when the x is equal to 0. So the value of y will be equal to negative 1. So we will have another coordinate which is 0, negative 1. So now the third step is to find the standard form. 
So as we all know, previously we already determined the standard form. So which is a fx equals to x plus 1 bracket square minus 2. So from the standard form, we can obtain the minimum point and the symmetrical axis. So refer to this one, our x will be equals to negative 1. This one will be our minimum value. So the minimum point would be negative 1, negative 2. And the symmetrical axis would be x equals to negative 1. So now we are proceed to step number 4, which is a graph sketching. So by referring to the information in step 1, 2 and 3. So now we have to fill up the information. So referring to the first step, it is a shape. So the shape is a U shape. Second is the X interception. Basically, from the help of the calculator, negative 1 plus square root of 2 basically is 0 0.4142. The value for negative 1, negative square root of 2 will be negative 2.4142. So now we are going to plot. So negative 1 plus square root of 2 will be 0 0.4142, approximately would be around here. For negative 2.4142, approximately will be, here will be negative 1, negative 2, and it will be approximate around here. So this one will be negative 1 plus square root of 2. And this one will be negative 1, negative square root of 2. Next, we are going to plot the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 1. So the location will be around here, negative 1. And then next, we move on to the step 3, the minimum point. So our minimum point is negative 1, negative 2. So the location for negative 1 will be around here. Negative 2 will be around here. Okay, so now we are going to sketch the graph. So the graph will be something like this. And the symmetric axis will be around here. So x equals to negative 1. So now our objective is to determine whether the function is 1 to 1 or not. So now I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So the horizontal line will be in red color. So I'll just simply draw a line. Which is parallel to x-axis. So by referring to the diagram, we notice that there is an intersection between the line and the graph. So based on the diagram, we can say that the fx, which is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1, is not 1 to 1 function. Reason, it cuts more than one point. And we also know that F inverse does not exist for this situation. So here we are and thanks for watching.